Okay, guys, I just had to make a quick video to show you this uh, Ozzy Callanan. I think that's how he pronounces his name, Ozzy Circuit. And I went ahead and built it today. It's on the energetic form at the uh, Slayer 007 uh, pulseless, um, I'm sorry, the rotorless pulse motor thread. If you go to the energetic form and look at the uh, Slayer 007 rotorless pulse motor and go down the thread you'll find this posting of Ozzy's uh, circuit and it's what's unique about it besides the simplicity is it uses a solenoid the coil in a solenoid it's not a, a bifiler or something you want you just go down to the store and you buy a solenoid and then you put reed switches up against it and I put a pair of them and a magnet and it gets this thing going into a self oscillation with that 2N3055 transistor and you've got a charging circuit and it's got the source battery over here goes through there charging collapsing goes on the coil you pick it up on the charge battery over here now what I did today was I added the CFL part of it and put that in and sure enough that works also I put in a, a rheostat here to be able to control the, the current draw because it, it's a current hungry kind of thing if you're not careful and then I put in a 1k pot up here and a 100 ohm resistor to control the, the base voltage going to the transistor but anyway it's an incredibly silly little simple circuit that works quite well and it's just another one of these messy countertop setups here but um, what it is it's a little solenoid and I took the, the middle part of it out here and I uh, found out it's on mine anyway it ran better without the middle in there but it's just a, a solenoid and I put the little reed switches two of them on top and a little neomagnet there to get it all going and then uh, uh, there's a ch uh, source battery and then I'm using the capacitor to show you the voltage that comes off the charging side of it and then just a basic CFL with the uh, ignition coil and I've got the radio here so you can hear it it sounds like static um, the um, scope shots that Ozzy had in his article were real interesting because it looks like a lot of static and that's what this sounds like but it's a lot of charging going on so let me turn this on it sounds like a bunch of static and there's the charging going on right there okay here's my amp draw 30 milliamps okay now I've got a load on the cap right here it's just that um, uh, 110 uh, night light and it's on right now but it's not glowing so let me turn this off and there goes the cap loading up and this is charging coming off of that collapsing solenoid coil right there with the reed switches getting it into self oscillation now I'm gonna put the light on Watch the light. There goes the light. And there goes the light. Look at my amp draw. 70 milliamps. And I got a CFL going. And voltage on my cap. So anyway, this was this was a real eye opener for me at just how simple you can make uh, one of these uh, radiant energy chargers if you just run down to Radio Shack or wherever and get a solenoid and then. Uh, couple of their reed switches these are radio set reed switches and off you go the Ozzy Calaman and lid motor CFL radiant energy charger circuit